It is April 13th, 2020 at 8.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Who are we talking about right now? So, we're going to start out talking about Diddy. <laughs> we're going to talk about Lizo. We're uh-huh. going to talk about Drea. We're going to talk about... Um, Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so, what was going on yesterday? Yesterday, it was live stream. Diddy and Lizo were on live stream. And Lizo started twerking and backing it up. Mm-hmm. And Diddy cut the music and was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's play something more family friendly. Some people was like, okay... Diddy might be on the low, kind of like Jive trying to stop Lizzo shine because Drea was twerking also mm-hmm. when he stri- when Drea was on live with Diddy, mm-hmm. and Diddy did not cut no music. Mm-hmm. Drea was ba- backing it up to a song that had profanity in it, mm-hmm. and basically people were just comparing, saying, "Okay, why did Diddy stop the live?" Yeah. With Lizo. Now, later, mm-hmm. Diddy said, you know, it was nothing against Lizo, but that song had profanity in it. But then still, some other people contended and was like, well, wait a minute. Drea's song had profanity in it, and so did Lizo's, the song that Lizo was dancing to. Now, maybe the song that Lizo was dancing to was more explicit, mm-hmm. but it's just a lot still up in the air with that. Right, right. Because Diddy still cut the cut the moment yeah but did he ex- didn't he explain himself earlier today and what was diddy's response his response basically was it wasn't about her twerking it was that the music was too explicit and he does not want child protective services over there exactly and you know what we also have to consider that um um diddy or sean combs he has he knows Drea. i have seen <laughs> him i've uh-huh. seen Drea at his events I don't think he knows Lizzo uh-huh. as, or Lizzo. Lizzo or Lizzo? I think it's Lizzo. Lizzo. I don't think he knows Lizzo as well as he knows Drea. Yeah, I think maybe. He, I think with Lizzo, it, it was almost like a wild card. Like, is she going to end up showing her thong Oh, on, on live? Because then they will shut down Diddy's. Uh, right. They may shut Diddy's like they did. They was... Who was it? It was Boosie? Boosie and Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez, right? Yeah, almost got... I think Diddy was also just being precautious as well. That's true. Now, when we look at... um, Hmm? I mean, if we look at his taste preference... Who says preference? Some people have mentioned that... Who says preference? Diddy? Yeah, Diddy was, I guess, like... It was a weight issue. Yeah, with with Lizzo? With with Lizzo. Right. Was he showing favoritism to, to Dre, you think? Like That's I, said, I think, he's, think I think he's more familiar with Drea. Drea. And we also have to remember, too, that, I mean, I've never really seen, and I mean, this is probably, I'm probably prob- stretching, but I've really, we've never really seen Diddy in a relationship <coughs> uh-huh. with a voluptuous woman. So all right. of that combined, I can't think of any, yeah. Right, I true. mean, all of, all of Diddy's, public relationships and mm-hmm. we don't know what he done what he have done in the past uh-huh. with voluptuous women but we do know what we have seen diddy with mm-hmm. i mean i don't think anybody is larger than a size five probably not i mean right so he, he yeah that's true i so have never seen him for his, with- for his preference i mean he's definitely team petite <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i think all of that maybe i think the fact that um he didn't, he, you know, like I said, he didn't know if Lizzo was going to end up in her thong because she is, sh- she is shameless with how she presents. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. So I think it was like a wild card. Um, and it also just could have been also his preface. I mean, this was his, his life, but he wasn't it disrespectful. Is. No, he was not. He that wasn't, he wasn't disres- disrespectful, disrespectful at all. And because he's in this love phase. Yeah, love zone. Love zone. He went on and he apologized. And that's what I like about men like diddy what okay explain that what is it that you like again? what i like about he's not all he don't always have to have his aggression on oh, i'm diddy i'm this i'm this you know what i'm right, saying he right, came right, on right. live and he presented he softened it yes right i agree so th- that's why i give i have to give the respect where respect is due right and like you said he does know drea and you know drea was in those um Ciroc- exactly ads. he know he has a relationship with her so he's yeah. like i think they when you know someone 
I think he was. It was intuitive for him to say, "Okay, mm-hmm. I know Drea isn't going to show her thong right, right now." Right, right. And his kids were there. His kids were there. Right. So, so I think Lizzo is more of a wild card, and she may be more for the adult scene. That's but true. she handled it well. Out. Wonderfully, wonderfully, and one thing I I, I just want to see. I, I'm glad that she gets a lot of attention, I guess. Mm-hmm. But she comes off like she could be a great actress. I like, think so I, too. Right. So I'm, you know, I would like to see her transition. I just don't want her to eventually feel exploited. Like she has this wonderful voice. Mm-hmm. But I can definitely she's see. Also, yeah. a, mm-hmm. a, a, I guess somewhat. I guess we can say a composer. But she she yeah. plays the flute. I mean, that's really a rare talent. Uh huh. Um, I, like is, you said, yeah, I would love to see her cross over into film. I think right, she would do phenomenal. Right, she has a beautiful speaking voice as well. Yes, yeah, she does. You know, so I could see her even doing um, um, live, sh- like theater. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think that she would, would be, be nice. great for theater. I mean, because she's one. Of, she seems like one of those artists that, with her natural voice, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she could still, you know, carry a tune naturally. So it's not like. You know, like some some um, artists, they rely a lot on auto tune. Right. So right. because they rely on auto tune, you know, you see them in the theater or something live. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh no. Right. So right. I think she. I really. I just. I just want her to, not to become the voluptuous woman that's always twerking. I agree. You know, I want to see her in gowns. Mm-hmm. I want to see her bring in bring bling. more to the table. Keep bringing more to yeah, the table. Keep bringing more to the table than just. Don't be the typecasted twerker. No, no, because I think she's well spoken. I, I think she has more to offer. I do too. I really now, do. Now, what do you think about throwing Tory Lance in the picture? Okay, Tory Lance, um, I don't really know. To be honest, I don't know this, that much about him. But from what I have seen so far, he seems to have a lot of charisma. I think so too. He seems to have an obsession with butts. So uh, yeah, that, that's clear. <laughs> that is clear. In the lot, he was he was you know when he had Li- Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo. Mm-hmm. When he had Lizzo on the live, what did he say? We like him big. We like him small. Right. I just think he's a butt guy. I think he's a butt guy, and I also think he he doesn't want to be publicly shamed. I mean, because the public. Is more vocal, mm-hmm. especially during quarantine time. So yeah, because he doesn't, yeah. you know, he doesn't want to be rejected. He wants to be embraced. Yeah, and people right, right. now, society now, you know, the guidelines are a little different. I agree. It's like no shaming, no no shaming, regardless of anybody's body size. We are all beautiful, and I think that's what he's basically trying to stand for. Yeah, I think that's what he's standing for. And th- does he have a new album out? Who Tory Lanez? Mm-hmm. I think he. Did. I think he's, he's just releasing something. something. So. The same thing with um yeah he I think he did you know with Drake before we did the Tussie slide we get pictures of Adon- uh, Adonis exactly so and he's been um Tory Lance I think was one of the first during quarantine to really embrace his Instagram live I think so too so he got something going on so I Tory Lance to me he's coming off like he's really not trying to create any enemies mm-hmm. he wants to have a lot of fun and he wants to bring as many people <laughs> as he can to yeah. his show and have a good time. Yeah, and promote his album and be a likable type of guy. Yeah, he wants in to the be likable because you know what? Somebody has to like you to buy your album. That's right. You better not rub people the wrong exactly, way. Exactly, because tours aren't guaranteed. Exactly. Not with Corona. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. So is that, is that all you have for the scoop on... Um, what, that's what is this? pretty much my Yeah, that's with those. Drea. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know what? Let's talk a little bit about Drea. I noticed now she is uh i think she's no longer in a relationship with her uh son's father uh-huh oh yeah that's one of our notifications oh wow okay um i think she is in a shift mode a shift mode what do you mean well like- it seems like well she's back to showing more body more skin mm-hmm. um but i don't think she's going to stay there long me neither i really think she's going to try to pivot somewhere else Okay. But still stay in the limelight, which okay. would be which would be really good. You know, I mean, cause you think she's going to what pivot into acting or something like that? I don't think the people really want to see her in acting. I mean, and I think she's probably tired of reality TV because reality TV has a tendency to want to cast her as the bad guy. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I for some reason I feel like she has another side that she wants to display. I but see the, that too. But the question is how? I think so. In what avenue? I mean, she's oh, yeah. she's she's she has shown us that she likes to cook. I think she's picking up on her YouTube channel. 
Yeah, so she probably wants to show another side of her outside the girl that has, you know, a, a cute body and a mm -hmm. cute face. Exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, she is getting a little bit more mature. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm, I'm just, I remember reading about her years ago on Media Takeout with some issues with her son. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so glad that that's no longer happening. I agree. So I'm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going to say, Dre, keep doing your thing mm -hmm. and keep evolving you know, mm -hmm. so perhaps one day she'll be married with kids and yeah, I think she has two now. Yeah, she has two, but you know, whoever she married, she got to get him, give them a baby. <laughs> yeah, right. So I, yeah. I would, like, I would like to see her in that type of setting. I agree. I, I you know, I, I think she somewhat kind of if the guy, if it's the right guy, I think she's open to settling down. I do too. I can definitely see that. Yeah. So that is the scoop right now, Andrea. Lizzo, Diddy, and Tory Lanez. Okay, so. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Oh, my goodness. And subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. And I think Tory Lanez is going to continue uh -huh. with this until it gets to old and tired. <laughs> yeah. I it think, hasn't gotten old and tired no, yet. it hasn't gotten old and tired. But I want to see who he can bring on his uh, uh, Instagram live that's going to have as much character or interest mm -hmm. as Lizzo. I don't know. I don't know if he'll be able to talk. I don't know if his impressions will garner a, I mean, more attention than what Lizzo has, has generated no, for I, him. I don't think so. I oh, think my so. goodness. I guess we'll just have to see. We have to see. We will have to see.